Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We have a question from a fellow boater. Uh, this boater is named Gary, and Gary's asking a question about solar panels. And specifically, Gary's asking about putting panels in series or bringing them to a dedicated controllers. So Gary's got a 48 volt system. So by the way, some of us do have 48 volt systems and generally that's related to electrical propulsion. Not always, but more frequently I'm seeing uh, boaters that have 48 volts as their battery system for electrical propulsion reasons. So Gary is, is saying, Jeff, I'm planning a 48 volt system and using two 24 volt solar panels. Would I have to wire the panels in series or could I use individual MPPT controllers? That's a good question. And by the way, uh, this question could be 24 volt, it doesn't really matter. So there's really two concepts that you we need to think about when we're actually uh, connecting solar panels. First of all, when you're choosing a controller, you're gonna choose a controller on various uh, variables, right? So what are the things you gotta look for? Well, the, one of them is, what is the maximum input voltage into the controller? That's one variable. Another variable is what's gonna be the maximum amperage through that controller, that's another variable. But the other variable that I learned the hard way and I forgot to do at the beginning when I was starting all of this is actually choosing what is gonna be the battery voltage. Right, so is the battery gonna be 12 volts, 24 volts, or in this case, 48 volts. So it's very, it does happen even with a 12 volt system where you could actually have a solar panel that is 10 volts, eight volts output. And you think, well, how am I gonna connect an eight volt panel to a 12 volt battery bank? Well, actually what happens is you get what's called the boost controller. So the controller is basically gonna take an input voltage and they're gonna adjust the voltage up, right? So they're gonna boost the uh, the output voltage. You can also, of course, and this is the most prevalent, is you can have a higher voltage. So you can have a 22 volt panel or 24 volt panel, and you wanna bring that 24 volt panel all the way down to the right charging voltage on a 12 volt battery. Okay, so now back to Gary's question. Gary's asking, well, what do I do? I've got two 24 volt panels. Can I wire them in series to a single 48 volt battery system? And the answer is yes, you can. But if your panels are, let's say exactly, uh, for example, 24 volts, 24 plus 24 is 48, and 48 volts is not gonna be enough to recharge your 48 volt battery because a 48 volt battery isn't 48 volts. A full battery is about 12.6, so you would have to do that times four. And then a charging voltage uh, for 12 volts is around 14.4. So you do 14.4 times four, and so, what you're probably recognizing is that a 48 volt solar panel can never really charge, well it can, but it can't, a 48 volt battery system. So in this instance, you're probably gonna need a boost controller if there is such a thing, and I'm not sure there is or not because I, it's rare that I come across the situation, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you have, the input voltage is gonna have to go higher to bring the charging voltage to, I'm doing the math in my head, I don't know, 58.8, maybe, something like that, uh, of a charging voltage. So if you're doing 14.4 times four, you're gonna need to have that really much higher charging voltage. And so then what? So you're gonna need a boost controller, or you're gonna need more solar panels, higher input voltage, and then you're gonna bring the voltage all the way down. So in this instance, you can go in series, you can go dedicated, but two of those solar panels are gonna require a boost controller versus a buck controller, which goes down. Great question from Gary, and I hope I didn't screw up the math because I was doing it on the fly. All right, great question, Gary, and thanks for asking. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly, it does, it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I wanna thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.